on hitting your goals in every area of your business. Remember, the universe rewards the bull. A leader has to take the risks. Out there, people are still buying cash value life insurance. 80% of all life insurance that, that is sold right now is cash value life insurance because nobody knows any better. Okay, and so uh, in Primerica, we take people that have never been in sales and we teach them and we train them and we, 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 we help them win big and that's what we've been doing for all these years. So the first thing I want you to do, if you meet somebody that has cash value life insurance, I want you to do this little exercise with them, okay? It's real simple. On the back of the VBS sheet or on your F&A input sheet, just you can scribble it right there. And what you do is you talk about how, uh, you, you, well, first of all, you, you do the you know bank A, you show them how bank A works, okay? And, and a lot of, uh, you know, in your presentation, it's right there and all your stuff that you can talk about. You all know what bank A is, right or right? Yes. Okay? So, and if you don't, I'll, I'll probably, I'll go through it with you guys if you don't, but you're gonna go through bank A and you're gonna talk about how bank A is the number one savings account in America. Eight out of 10 people own bank A. And over 220 million people, it's probably close to 300 million people by now. I've been saying 220 for so many years, right? And so 220 million people own what? Cash value life insurance, okay? And so if you were an agent, okay, and you could have $300,000 worth of life insurance, would you rather pay $2,300 a, a year in, for the life insurance, or would you rather pay $1,300 a year for the life insurance? You'd rather pay $1,300. I mean, I mean, think about it. The, if you die, your family gets $300,000 of life insurance. That's it. They get, that's what they get if you die. Would you rather pay $2,300 uh, uh, or $1,300? Huh? Every time. It's $1,300 every single time. There's not one client in 20 years that has ever said any different. It's real, it's real simple. You ask that question and, and you let them know that the only reason why people have bank A, because obviously bank A is pretty bad, right? Uh, it is because of the compensation package that cash value life insurance agents, the, the way that they get paid. So if you are an agent, and you made 100% Fred of the first year's commissions as your commission, would you rather sell the client the one that was 2,300 or 1,300? 2,300, right? If the client doesn't know any better, you'd sell them the 2,300. It's still 300,000 worth of life insurance, but you're gonna sell them the higher price product because you make 100% of the first year's commissions, you make that as your, uh, your commission, okay? And so that is why, Mr. And Mrs. Client, uh, the, the, that's why Bank A is the number one savings account. That's why eight out of 10 people own it. That's why 220 people, uh, million people own cash value life insurance. 100% it's the commissions. So if you can share this with the client and get them to understand that the product that they just bought was not sold to them because it made more financial sense. It was sold to them because the, they were gonna earn more commission. Once the client can see that and visualize that fact, writing the sale becomes a lot easier, okay? Uh, and of course, here's the rule, the, the rule of 72. I'll always go through, at, at one point, I'll go through the rule of 72. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna make sure that the, that the client understands that there's a major difference between 3% interest and 12% interest. As a matter of fact, there's a difference between uh, getting $40,000 in 48 years and uh, in 42 years getting $1.2 million. That's the difference between a 3% rate of return and a 12% rate of return. If they can understand that, then when you explain plan A, or bank A we call it, uh, when you explain this, it'll make a little bit more sense to them, okay? 
On average, you get zero to five percent interest on your savings, six to eight percent fee to withdraw your money. Number three, six months to defer your money. So if you ever need your money, you gotta let me know six months in advance for me to give you that money. I can withhold that money up to six months. Number four, they keep all your first year's deposit. So if you give me $1,000 that first year or $10,000 that first year, the, the bank A right here, that they're gonna keep that money 100% of those first year's deposits. And lastly, if you die, so your family doesn't have to fight over the money, bank A is going to keep all of the savings. In most cases, all of the savings they're gonna keep, all right? And so the question I have for you, Mr. and Mrs. Client, because remember, closing always has to do with questions. It's always about questions. It's not about me, Fred, telling you that this is a poor product. It's asking you, do you think, based on the education, do you think it's a poor product? So, so Mr. and Mrs. Client, if you know, would you ever knowingly put your money and you should memorize what I'm saying right here. If, if, if you, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Client, would you ever knowingly put your money into a program that worked like this? Yes or no? And what do you think, uh, uh, you know, 99.999% of the people are gonna say? What are they gonna say? No, never. So now, if, 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 I, was, if I was your best friend and I had a program like that, what would you tell me? You see how it's, you see the question? You see the visual that's happening in your brain? You're going, if you were my friend, I would, yeah, I would tell you to get out of it. Right? If I cared about you, I would tell you to get out of it. So now you become, you, you go from being a salesperson to now we're friends. Now I'm just a friend telling you something that you probably didn't know already. You see how psychology plays a lot in the game of closing. This, the closing is really a psychological, right, Sammy? It's a psychological process. The sales process, the prospecting process, the recruiting process, the whatever process there is. It's a, it's a psychological, so a lot, the challenge with a lot of people, if, if I'm you know, Chris Panamino and I'm brand new in the business or I'm Sally and I'm brand new licensed in Primerica, Guess what? You don't think about it as a psychological process. You think about it as, hey, I'm going to go tell them that it's a great product. I'm going to go tell them that, that, that we're just better. You guys see what I'm, right? And, and guess what? If you do that, guess what's going to happen? Most likely, you're not going to close very much business. You might get lucky with your family and friends, okay? But long range, when you're, when you're sitting across the kitchen table from somebody you don't know that you've never met before and you're training that new recruit, you're in trouble because you don't understand the behind why we do what we're doing. And by the way, just so you guys know, that's why we have that How to Close workshop. That How to Close workshop, by the way, it's in the back over there. If, you, if you've never listened to it, it might not be a bad idea. It's like three and a half hours of me doing this teaching you exactly, word for word, exactly what to say, how to say it, to whom to say it to, and by the way, most importantly, why you're saying what you're saying. Understanding why the, the verbiage is such a critical part. People wing it all day long. Look, I've been watching people try to build Primerica businesses for 22 years now, and I've been watching them try, and a lot of them failing. And they shouldn't fail. None of you should fail. There's not one of you in this room that should fail. You all know how to sing Row, 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 Row Your Boat? How do you sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Sing it. Okay, so hey. So you guys got it? You got it? So, so now, now, you know, so, some of you guys have never heard that song. Probably, you know? Victoria's like, what song is that? I've never heard of that one before. Que pasó? And Isabel knows it in Spanish, of course. Because, you know, so anyway, so, but, but think about it, right? Most of you haven't sang that song in 40 years. But you knew it just like that. 
You knew it just like that. Why? Because you memorized it. So everything that I do, everything that we teach you, everything that's on those CDs, you got to memorize it. Right. Once you memorize, see, uh, uh, Fernando doesn't have a problem prospecting people because he says the same thing every time. Almost. He says the same, hey, have you ever considered career change and money's right? Hey, you ever keep your options open? Hey, you live around this area, right? Whatever it is that he uses, I mean, he just says the same thing over and over and over again. And about, you know, two out of 10 people that he talks to might join his business or something like that. Or maybe it might be 50 and, you know, one in 50 or something like that. Whatever the number is, he just does it again and again and again, just like a baseball player. Guess, guess what a baseball player does all day long? They practice baseball. They hit ball, and they throw ball, and they catch ball. Right or right? Yeah. That's it. That's all they do. They just keep doing the same thing over and over. Hey, how, you know, any, anybody ever been to a concert before? Right? The Rolling Stones are still playing the same songs that they played in the 60s. They've been around since the 60s, I bet, right? So they're playing the same, they're singing the same song. How boring is that? But you ain't bored if you paid for that ticket. <laughs> but imagine them, right? Imagine them. They're like, I got to sing that song again. I sang it a million times. Okay, but remember, the boring things are what make you successful. It's the boring. Write that down. That's a good one. I saw you write it down over here, man. The boring things make you successful. So when you're listening to those CDs every single day, and your little kids are going, I, I'm sick of hearing Daniel's voice. I hate it when they put, right? Like, over, oh, mom, can we put on some music or something, man? Why do we gotta listen? But see, what's gonna happen, if you can commit to it for like six months, or even a year, probably, and all you do is just listen to the material that we're putting in front of you for the next six months or a year, then what's what, what's gonna happen? It's gonna become row, row, row your boat. And then it never goes away. You don't ever forget 